Hello, I'm Eric Berger. I'm a member of the Board of Trustees of the Internet Society, and I was participating today at the Internet Society's Internet On workshop. Today I was presenting on Alto, which is the Application Layer Transport Optimization Protocol. Now what this is about is in peer-to-peer -peer networks, there have been a number of problems uh, which actually came to a head when some service providers blocked peer-to-peer -peer traffic because it appeared to their networks that their networks were under attack because the traffic was not well behaved and had an issue where it was costing the carriers a lot of money because content that even though could have been fetched from within their network was being fetched from other networks, sometimes even on the other side of the world. Now, as you can imagine from the user's perspective, if it's content being picked from across the world, it takes a long time to get that content. It, it takes a while. And so we wanted to come up with a solution which would result in faster downloads for users, so a better user experience, and at the same time reduce the operator's costs. So a win-win situation. So a few years ago in the IETF, the major developers of the peer-to-peer -peer software got together with a number of researchers and service providers and worked out an architecture and now a protocol for the way that these peer-to-peer components can actually get information of what is a close piece of content? How do I know that it's really close and not just temporarily uh, looks like a good link but turns out to be a congested link? Uh, the state of the work right now is uh, we're almost done with the protocol itself for how a peer-to-peer -peer client can learn about the topology of the network nearby. Uh, and we're working on other parts of the architecture, such as how does a client find out where to find this information? Uh, and then other uh, follow-on work, such as having different service providers share their information. Uh, this is all done in a very secure manner because, of course, as a user, you don't want your personal information just given out to anyone who asks, what do I have on my disk? Uh, this is a regular IETF work, anyone can participate. All you need is an email address to receive the emails. If you want to discuss, you need to be able to send from that email address. We do have meetings three times a year in the IETF, but again, being there is not what's important. What's important is actually reading the documents and participating on the email mailing list. So we look forward to any of your participation, either working on these protocols, coming to future Internet On uh, workshops to find out more about what's going on and to participate.